Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Can, Ticket the Weekend Game. In the last episode of Half-Life Blue Shift, we made our way through the Black Mesa security. We're actually to warehouse security where we need to find Dr. Rosenberg as told to us by a dying scientist. And in this episode, we're going to do hopefully just that and try to find Dr. Rosenberg. We had to take out some military personnel, causing us some issues, but... Help! Someone let us out of here! Are they in here? Oh my god! Dr. Rosenberg? Rescued at last, thank you. God, you're here. No, I'm afraid I'm not Dr. Rosenberg. Oh, uh, well, at least you answered the question I had, but you're not who I need. Okay, so if Red had scientists, what's in here? Okay. I see. Wait a second, they're... They're frozen. Are they trying to preserve the bodies? They're trying to preserve the bodies, I guess possibly for research. Huh. That was interesting. So, I don't know really what they have planned for them, but it was, it was kind of unique. Now, I wonder if destroying these cans and things will give us any, uh, any benefit. It didn't really seem so, but I'm kind of curious what the plan is for this freight facility. Now, obviously, this is probably... Okay. Yeah, that was, that's what I was just going to do there. Hmm, so the military were waiting in here. Shotgun to the face, always effective. Hmm, but at least me questioning, what were their plans? What do they plan on doing now? Hmm, these are all things we're going to have to discover. Now, I will say, I am kind of glad we have a little bit of change of pace. We're getting new characters with Dr. Rosenberg and obviously B. Calhoun, which you guys have informed me is Barney in the comments, so thank you for letting me know his name is Barney Calhoun. Gives me just a little bit more, you know, of... Gets, it lets me relate to him more. Knowing a character's name is actually pretty important, at least in my opinion. I don't know, are there any games where the character is unnamed? Let me... I can't really think. Hmm. Probably, but I can't think of one right now. Now, I got some armor, so, gotta be careful to not hit Q there. I love how when they walk into the grenades, they just explode all over. It's just amazing to me. Okay, so, ah, here's his helmet. So, let's see. Okay. Taken care of? Alright, what now? 50 cal. Why are you giving us a 50 cal? Well, this is... We're probably gonna need this. Uh, maybe in here? What's in the boxes? Seems like that'd be something they'd give us. Nothing so far. Hmm. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but how do we... Wait a second, why is... Can we... Looks like maybe we can hit this. Aha! We can! So I'm gonna shoot these. There we go. And then we should be able to open this door. There we go. Are you Dr. Rose Dr. Rosenberg? Of course not. Oh yeah, I'll help you, but I still need Dr. Rosenberg. Where's Dr. Rosenberg? Are you, are you gonna be coming with us, or...? And we chilling here. Let's go. All right, let, 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 let's go. Ah, uh, this is why we needed this. Okay, there's one scientist. I don't know where they are. There we go. Why are you? Okay, we're getting a lot of them. Why are they... We're getting a lot of military personnel, that is for sure. Where's the sign? He's dead. How many are gonna be... So many. Really understanding why they gave us that 50 cal. Crap. Okay. Please stop. I think I think we're good. 
God! There's blood everywhere. But... That was kind of a little bit of overkill. I don't... I think... I, I usually understand why games do this, but I think we gotta do things like that. But I guess maybe they need to test us a little more. I'm not too sure. But they're giving us lots of health around this facility. So obviously... I mean, they gave us a 50 cal early on, so this was going to happen. Just... God, I didn't... Hmm. I don't know. It just kind of seems a little random. But I guess there was a point to it. To it. Now there seems to be stuff here. Now if I crouch and walk, of course. Okay. I'm going to patrol. Walks in the corner, dies. Oh, that grenade arm though. Guy was taking some steroids or something. Oh. Okay, well that's not safe. There's a tank. Because things weren't challenging enough, tank. Grenade. Three health. Okay, let's let's be smart. Let's be smart. I might actually head back in here. They're gonna come any further or Not really. So we have anti-air. I hear some soldiers on a walkie. I want to... There we go. Oh god, that was the tank. Okay, but lucky, luckily for us, it puts us pretty close to it. So the tank... What the... Crap! I'm just going to go... That gun glitch happens very frequently. Where, like... That... That arm again. I think... Only a few are left. Okay, 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 okay. Let's figure out what we need to do. Okay, so I know where we need to try to focus, so... There you are. You're dead. Okay, now the tank is still a threat. Very much so. That's kind of funny, though. So let's try to... Not do that! <laughs> okay, so we're at a little bit of a... Kind of a standstill here. Now I'm gonna hide back in here. Maybe I should switch to the revolver, it's just more precise and does more damage. It's pretty much one shot, one kill, so. Okay, well, almost. Okay. Any more? Please, no. So we have anti-air. I think the memo is got. So let me keep. Okay, so how do I do this? I see now. kind of like that okay I'm just gotta keep dodging it in a way let's hide under here all right I'm gonna throw that because I don't know if they have a cook time all right come on let's find the anti-air I like how the tank takes its time to sw swivel around, giving us some time. Oh wow. Because that's lovely. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay. That hurt. 
So let's see. I don't know if I need to. There we go. Okay, too close. Feels like I'm just too close to love you. Tank, I mean. God, okay, so that did damage. But we took care of the tank. Now this was leaving, it looks like. It looks like they were trying to pull out. Now, for what? I'm taking a guess the aliens. Aliens would be a great reason for me to want to pull out if I was <coughs> military personnel, I guess. But let us see if there's anything in crates. Hopefully some health. We have some satchel charges, some much needed health. There we go. So we're back at 100. Now I'm guessing this is where we go. Now why do I not trust this? Well, it's Half-Life. Never trust everything fully. There's nothing in here, but is there a lock? No, not really. So what is this? It's just a... Just... I don't know, it just seems like it was a little added area. Maintenance area. So this is where... Why is there a turret? What kind of jerk would put a turret... Okay, so... Turret taken care of. Alright, I'm gonna try to duck jump. There we go. Let's break our way through these. Nothing. Those are, uh, CO2 high pressure flammable. I think I know what we gotta do. Oh, wow. Okay. Do I just need to hit the, the head there? Or? There we go. So we have ourselves a little hole that's using the environment pretty well. Firehouse, or firefight warehouse. Just gonna throw a grenade through that. Just gonna chuck grenades and see what happens. Why doesn't the duck jump work? What? Okay, we had to... The... This is a very finicky mechanic, and it's been finicky in, in the three games. Up until this point. This revolver, though. If I could have a revolver this accurate in real life, man, it'd be over. That shotgun just... Completely disregarded the walls existed, but okay. Now it looks like we're gonna have to switch this and continue going that way, so. Ooh, turntable controls, so we are. Where are we going to direct what, though? So it looks like we have a puddle. A puddle puzzle! And Bay Area Door 5. What did I open? That's what I opened. Okay, so there's a lot of cover, but it may hold things we need. Hmm. Now, just because this way was certain death doesn't mean... I'm in here! Can anyone hear me? That's probably Dr. Rosenberg. I'm going to take a guess on that one. I can hear you, but I don't know how to get to you. Oh, wait. Hello? I'm in here. Hmm. <clears throat> I can hear you, but how do I help you out? Um, I think I have to go on that second device or the second machine down here. Hello? I'm in here. Can anyone hear me? I can, but I don't know how to get to you. No. Hello? I'm in here. Can anyone hear me? I can hear you, but apparently it does nothing. Hello? I'm in here. Can anyone okay, that's gonna get annoying. Oh wait. Duh. Or not. Can't open that either. Hmm. Is there something I'm not finding? Is there a door or something I need to activate first? New Mexico Rail road line access tunnel so I want to say maybe that goes to the outside 
But I'm not too sure. I guess what I'll do now is try to find anything I can in these crates. Because there's not really much to go on at this point. I hear a scientist trapped. We've killed a lot of military personnel. And there's someone tra Oh god, no. Okay, they were- they thought ahead on that. More health. They're giving us a lot of explosives. Maybe I should try to... use force, I guess. I don't want to use opposing force, though. Alright, but it looks like that's the only way I have. That was worth it. Did I kill someone? No. Hmm. I can hear you, but I can't. Maybe. The other side. Hello, I'm in here. Can yep. Hear me? That was obvious. So now that we found this, I, I should have just checked the other side, but at least I got health. And I'm sorry if that was very painfully obvious. I, I do like how we can't beat a moving object, like we can't seem to be ahead of it too much. Ah, I see what they need, want us to do. Makes sense now. We won't be able to open it, right? Oh no, never mind. Are you Dr. Rosenberg, please? What's the status on Freeman? Yes, I'm Dr. Rosenberg. Although I'm not very proud to admit it, seen as though I'm partially responsible for all of this. How did you know my name? Oh, I see. Poor Harold. Yes, our plan was to get to one of the old prototype labs. It involved something that very few people in the facility are authorized to know about. The same technology that brought about this catastrophe could also be our only way out. You see, I was involved in the very early work on teleporter technology, long before the Lambda Complex was even built. There may be enough equipment in the old lab to piece together a device that would allow us to teleport outside of the facility. As improbable as that may sound to someone like yourself. Of course, none of that does a whole lot of good while we're stuck in here. Hmm. Perhaps I could help boost you through that vent in the ceiling. If you're lucky, you might be able to take those soldiers by surprise. Let's try this. So it seems Dr. Rosenberg was the person behind what's going on here. He's been here for obviously quite some time. So Harold was the man that who died trying to tell us about Dr. Rosenberg. So we finally found Dr. Rosenberg. So let's see what happens if we... I'm trying to see where they are. These soldiers are supposed to be taken by surprise. Found him. There we go. Where are the others? You're down. I think that's everything. Uh, doctor, you don't have to be. All right. Now we'll need to head back to the area where you met Harold. The access to the old lab should still be there, but we may have to break through some of the newer construction to get to it. Okay, so we're going to have to uh, go backtracking a little bit. Oh god, please don't tell me this is escorting and a backtracking. Right behind you. Okay, we have a backtracking and escort mission. Oh god, two of my least favorite things in one. I don't know, this kind of seems like... This may be... I, I understand they wanted to add on to this, and I'm actually very surprised we have a new character of Dr. Rosenberg, and you know, he's the one who's done, who's responsible for this, and I think that's quite cool, but... Kind of feels like the only reason he's here and maybe I'm, maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh on the game, is that it kind of feels lazy in a way, and, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but under, hear me out. Okay, so we have to head back to where Harold was because... reasons? I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying it's kind of weird. Now, this door is finally open, so let's see what's here. On, Calhoun. You'll have to slow down a bit. Come on, Rosenberg. Come on. Are you? Let's go. Wow. So if I. Oh boy. Escort missions galore. 
All right, so we will continue. Come on. All right. We will. Dr. Ro Dr. Rosenberg, please. Doctor. There we go. We will. Oh, now there's no time to wait. Oh, the doctor. The doctor. Stop. No. All right. You won't even know I'm here. All right, and we will continue going upward in the next episode. Let me know what you think about Dr. Rosenberg joining us, him being somehow responsible for all of this. I'm really curious to what you have to say, but that's going to be it for this episode. That's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time, and as always, I hope you have a great day. appreciate your help, but I'm afraid those bastards did their damage already. <laughs> if you were trying to reach the freight yards in hope of escaping, then just forget about it. The military is rounding up everyone, and everything they can find, and either killing them or bringing them up here for questionation. Well, in theory, that is. So, they found the crystals in the border world, which leads me to believe that's probably Zen. We lost Zen. contact with the survey group shortly after the device was in place. We later discovered other methods of aiming the field, but all of the equipment in this lab uses the older technology. 